watch that bitch like every other day. Especially like in the spring when all that damn pile and shit. Cause every speck of dust, every speck of dust show up on that bitch. Everything. You got right. that silver card. You don't see nothing. Huh? Only thing you what tell you. Mm-hmm. You in the back? Who that moose? Oh, look! Tell moose I said happy Father's Day. Game might cut off. I mean, the speaker might cut off because the phone's too soft. Mm-hmm. Damn, it cut off. Yeah, yo. I was out of range. I was yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, send me a picture. At the 42 yard line. Right. Yep. Alright, hold up. Let me finish. Let me finish the game. That should come over your house. Oh my god. And that is the races down the right side. And he will bring this in the back. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, oh. They get to sit back there if they got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. That's all you watch? And their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw. A free safety's dream. Oh, okay. Oh, dang. Oh, you might win this one, yo. Sweet. 
You know my secret. You know what to do. You, you got me. Got me, homeboy. Got some for me, old boy. Alright. What I'm talking about. Every day. Just like Coke. Yeah. Damn! 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 I said you might win this one, yo. Damn! Oh fuck, yo! You see that shit there, son? Nah, I'm talking to you. Damn! Nah, yeah, a little bit. Gotta get up in that demonstration. receptions now for him you know people were expecting maybe some bigger numbers Charles what did you make of Antonio Brown's season well what I made of it is that he started to get more help along the way Jesse James developed a tight end once Le'Veon Bell got into the lineup he started to catch passes out of the backfield and ate up a few numbers as well so Big Ben had more targets to throw it to that should help Antonio Brown going forward in 2017 because he'll still be the primary guy but when you get help where you can make bigger plays downfield. Now Roethlisberger to throw. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. And into the end zone. He, he did that on his own. <laughs> Eli Rodgers, 63 yards. And the Steelers have now made this a one-score game. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. Make it 13-7. Oh, yo. Why you ain't playing with the Ravens, yo? As well now to kick it away after the touchdown. Yeah, but they got Mike Wallace and Steve Smith. And Dennis Pitter and Hughes check. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. A look at Washington as they come on. Yeah, the field. yo. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Looking for his tight end read, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. Damn, this nigga wouldn't run straight, yo. Seriously, I could not get a bitch to turn up field. Getting set to take the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't score. Uh, and now we're going to get a timeout call by no. the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter.
That pace is show. You do know I got the best running back in the game, even though they don't play like it on this game. <laughs> okay. He's the best running back in the game, son. Yo, we was in the AFC Championship. We lost to the Patriots. Yeah, we lost to the Patriots. Mistake here by the kicker, kicking it out of bounds. Yep. The one that drives coaches crazy. Keep it in the field of play and let your guys cover. I don't even know, yo. Might be. Nah, a good guy. Yeah. And ten cousins flushed out right. Give him 12 yards on that one, it earns him a fresh set of downs. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just gotta know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Here's a carry now for Keith Marshall, and he'll be taken down right around the 41 yard line. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. Cousins now on second down. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. I know. I know. I know, yo. I know, yo. I hate that. On third down, Cousins. Incomplete. The contact made the ball run free and brings up fourth down. I ain't know what happened. This shit was blinking. Yeah. Too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Yeah. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on. Because I almost ran out of time to pick my play. Yeah, Rick, what's up, son? Oh. Wait a minute, hold up, son. Hold up, yo. Son, happy son's day. <laughs> What's up, son? What's going on? On your way to work, son? You about to go make them donuts? That's what I'm talking about. July 14th? All right. We're going to see. We're going to see. Hey, what time What time do you take your break? Because I'm getting dirt this work right now. Well, just call me later on. I don't got to go to work till tomorrow at uh, 3 o'clock. So give me a call later when you get off. Right, thanks for calling me, son. I love you. Mm -hmm. Who's that, Egbert? Yes, sir. You still working the market? Nah, he been stopped working the market. He working some restaurant. Step aside here in this first quarter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he doing all right. I'm proud of him. Cousins in the offense. Yeah, I talked to him uh, last weekend. They're going to try on fourth down. No. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Yeah. Now Cousins on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack. Yo. Yo. Why do you do that? No, I'm not going to say, but, but yo, <laughs> but listen to what I'm saying, yo, no, I was just going to say, yo, <laughs> but you always say you don't, you don't play like Pat Dizzle, why the hell you do that? Having scored the last time out, they come up with one running back, that's Bell. Mm 
The play clock's running down, and the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. And down he goes! A sack! They sack him back across midfield at about the 48-yard line. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. On second down, it's Bell. And yeah. lose yardage on the play back at the 45. A dumbass play call. Call that a loss of five yards on yeah. the play. And they're going to face yeah, it up. Yeah, no, Bell peep that. On third and long. I peeped at that. They'll come out in the pistol. Now Ben on third and long. Throw complete there. Rodgers. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, of that marker. They'll try and throw for it with Roethlisberger. He completes it to Bryant. Get off. And he's going to be Get taken off. down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. It'll be a 20-yard gain on the play. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Defense showing blitz. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. This will be caught at about the six. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways. Right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. And the offense in a great spot. It's first and goal from the three. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. with Charles Davis, Brandon Garden. It's Steeler football. Tough sledding. I was just down 13 nothing. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Maybe. the lone receiver Again? Damn, yuck. Damn, yo. That's three pick sixes. <laughs> Yeah. Three pick sixes, yo. Yeah. Right, right, right. I told you, yo, you got nice, yo. What? Yo, why you don't ever pat yourself on the back? Why you so modest? Yo, I, I can't pay you no compliment, yo. You don't think you got better? That's fielded in the end zone. Right. Steelers. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you right. say to your guy is listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit. Yeah, they got the ass beat. High percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. Yeah, they told him that they told us they've got confidence. Like that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They, they gave it to him. They didn't give it to me. I took that. And give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. So the offense has it first and ten. Yeah. 
Yo, who didn't know that it was going to win? Damn! Yo, I got a full... Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm hard headed. Woo! I dug myself a hole. You think I can catch it, yo? Why not? That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19 yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Did I ever? Whew. Why, why am I throwing it? Yo, I'm down 14 points. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. Now Roethlisberger. Out left side here to Bryant. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. Don't mark him down at the 39. Drop the ball. She was like. He puts it right on him and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. Play fake here on first down. And my <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. And his guys are gonna take over at the 31 yard line. So out now come the Redskins. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it for turn it over in their own territory. Yeah, I had to stop the game. The other guys held up. They didn't give us any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines? Yeah. That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down. Or to yeah. the defense out the horn. He trusted his defense. He trusted his defense very much. And I, I don't know. I don't get in a person like she grown woman. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. And we'll see what his offense can do. Now Cousins. Out to the left here to Reed. For Jordan Reed, Charles still waiting for him to play. A yeah, I know. In a game. So, you know. Through four seasons, he hasn't completed a full NFL schedule. I hate schedule, that too, though. But he's right up there in the argument for best tight end in the league. Yeah. He really is, and I don't think he can get a bigger compliment than I'm hearing from my friends in the scouting community who have all told me that those teams that are in the market for tight ends. I don't know. And they're scouting now. They're Thank all trying three. to find guys who have Jordan Reed characteristics. And I'm talking about route running. Run after the catch, the ability to make, to create and make bigger plays. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time, yeah. and that brings up fourth down. So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. Spotted at the left, hash this from 45. And Hopkins' kick is good. kick, good. Joe. And that will swell 30 to 14. To can I come back? Mm. 30 to 14. I ain't never came back from a deficit this big before, yo. I haven't. At about the 23 yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Goes underneath for Bell. Call it a gain of three. And it'll make it second down. I know most yeah. of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On second down, here's a rush coming, and he's taken down. Yeah, he did. That time, but he gets home for a loss of six. 
I'm like, dang, son, it's like that. Finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback oh, right yeah. in the face of him puts him down. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively and then just continued there with that incompletion. And definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops. How you say, yo? I'm about to turn right out the mic. I'm about to turn out the mic. Difficult for them throughout the half. Huh? Damn, every. Here's Jackson. <laughs> a great return there of 22 yards. And the Redskins will take possession for the first and ten. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. This is Marshall. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. They would play really good run defense, but we're playing a 3-4. There's three guys up front. The nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends. They're usually big, big people. They need to eat up a lot of blockers. There's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys are playing the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. On first and ten, Cousins. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose. Yeah, because that should have been a pick. No, no, that should have been a pick. Indeed, should have been a pick, yo. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Oh shit. And he'll be inside the 35 now at the 34 yard line. Come on, man, went all the way around you. And that'll lead here to a third down. I got pissed. So two minutes to go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We'll come back to San Diego after this timeout. from the gun on third and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact yeah they vibes on that yo kick the you field goal it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes where people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away but the bottom you can make that is, yo that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught would have been a decently long field goal 51 yards from here but instead they're going to go for it Jordan Reed has Ooh. it. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They stay on the ground. This is Marshall again. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So I can have some time. I want to get the ball. Yo, let, hey, hey, let me coach my team. Let, let, me, let me coach this up. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Halfback sent in motion. On third down, Cousins. And this is going to be incomplete. Jordan Why you throw that shit so fast? And it's fourth down. It's a tried and true formula. No, they kicked the field back in the bathroom. We play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can mm -hmm. pressure on them to make it tough, that's only going to be defense. Yeah, he's since being hurt. Is it 33 14? <laughs> and that field goal caps at 11. Ah. Uh. <laughs> nah, I drank a lot of water and coffee. 
Nah, nigga. Yeah, ain't no telling where you kick that shit at. You can squib that bitch. Go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah. Fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shot it. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with half time on the horizon, yeah, but I want to stop the clock. From here forward. Mm -hmm. A fake to Bell. Now it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle. It's caught by Rodgers. <laughs> that nigga zig through your whole defense. Boswell for the extra point. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. If you, what? You can get a what? I don't think you coach good enough. I don't think your coaching is good enough, yo. Let me see. I'll be telling you it is, but you be you play scared. You at the 24. You play scared, yo. Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. First down, here's Cousins. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. It's a gain of 17 that time. And that leads to a Washington first down. And now before the first <laughs> See what down, I Why you let all the time go off the clock? So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Right. Cousins now to throw on first down. He's got time. Well, this is taking oh my God. Now, I thought that was picked, Joe. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Let's see if I can make So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And he's mm. going to miss this one wide to the left from mm. distance. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Brown, the lone receiver left. They go play action here on first down. The fuck he ain't catch that, yo. Took a shot that was going to be a touchdown. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. You would have been scurred. <laughs> that would have put me at 28. And we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. 
And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll, we'll see if that script is a good one for them. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. A screen to Bell. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They wind up losing a yard on the play. And they're going to have a third down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Hmm. And on third and three, they decided to go with a dime package. Yeah. Six DBs. Yeah, you're right. They've got six out there. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. going to go as a loss of two and it'll be second down and now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up and now here's a oh. interception a oh. and they have the football and they set up shop at the 33 yard line a look at the offense i didn't need that to happen back out on the road for their first possession of the second half mm. last time out they had that long 50 plus yard field goal that they missed and i'm sure on their sideline they're thinking to themselves okay do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in it. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. Oh, no. A plays like this where the ball comes free, it's mm -hmm. unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because it's a mm -hmm. the ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to yeah, execute no. what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he'll get up near the 45. He'll spot it at the 44. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And quickly, they get to the line. In motion, the tight end, Reed. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. No, that ain't well Executed good. blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audible there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through. And that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Ten yards still left on second down. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. It is, though. I'll be hating that. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. To throw his cousins. Now they go straight. Mm -hmm. It's complete. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Here's Tressway now. 
And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. That'll be caught by Rodgers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that. In it's caught inside the 25. And yeah. 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 Extra point now by Boswell. Yeah. Doing a lot of blinking on your end. Hey, that, that, that shit wasn't blinking when you when was getting them picks. <laughs> you, you feel me coming, yo? You, you, you feel me getting close to that? I'm on that edge. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Well, you mind if we go off topic for a second? No, you know go. I like to do that let's randomly. Do uh, AFC playoff contenders for this year that didn't make it last season. Who do you have that might get in? Well, I think Cincinnati's got to be considered there. Maybe they'd have a, an offseason that's calm, and they go into this season and try and get back to the playoffs where they've been perennials. How about Denver? Yeah. Remember last year, they didn't have the quarterback to start. Trevor Simeon played pretty well overall, but maybe they can get solidified there and ride that strong defense right back into the playoffs. I'm going to give you a couple a little bit off the pace. Indianapolis cannot afford to score. Andrew Luck, one of the better young quarterbacks in the game. They've got to get back to the playoffs. And Buffalo, brand new head coach, brand new people running the ball club. Let's see if they can figure it out. I think defensively, they can be awfully strong. And now they're in the hurry up. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Yeah, let me pump out my chest a little bit. Even though I'm not rooting for either team, that was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. Cousins now on second down. And he's going to go down way back at the 42-yard line. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of start, it comes to clean. Oftentimes, he definitely goes to the defensive player. Panicking, yo. What you panicking for? His first putt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. With Shit. Oh, nice move. <laughs> Shook the oh, shit out of him. That one. As it stands, though, a heck of a 36-yard run back. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. <clears throat> they come up with one running back. That's Bell. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. 23 yards of the play. 
Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his neck. Hey, you had Josh Gordon over there, yo. I mean, Josh, Josh Norman, who you have over there, yo? Who that just got the shit? Who that just got the shit burnt out of? <laughs> you don't know who it was. Yeah, just burnt the shit out of Slim. And they will line up now for the two-point try. Yeah. chasing points or going for two too early but in this case I understand why you know if you kick an extra point you're just up two yeah. right so field goal still puts the other team ahead so you go for two here and protect the field goal lead they didn't get it done though but look at Washington as they come onto the field and last time out there to punt the football away anything positive possibly to take from that there always is when you're punting the football away it doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up but you didn't turn it over, right? You're giving, it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and you're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turn. Now you got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something bad to be gained from it. <laughs> Hold on, move, move, move the mic. Second down, they need less than a yard to pick up the first. Second down, Cousins. And this one complete to Reed. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. There's a complete to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something off central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that really? package together. You see what you did? As an offensive coordinator, don't you? Yeah. Right. First down, Redskins. And they're going to speed things up here. Now Marshall trying to find a lane, but instead Start that on. back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That's, that's awesome, Burger. That's what awesome, Burger does. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes. No. Having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but... Can nigga gets Kirk Cousins. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Here's Cousins. Jackson's got it over the middle. He got 29 yards mm. at a time. Okay, what mm. can Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game. And he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you thinking of anything in particular? Mm -hmm. I'm still remembering a certain Giants player. Yeah, you fucked that up. Not following orders. I don't know, Jackson but it's about to get hard for you. Time return. All the way back yeah. for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants sideline. Now a second down throw for Cousins. Nowhere to escape, and he mm -hmm. goes down. Still flying to him. Yeah. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Yeah, yeah, he got the advantage. My time in football, yet to see a playbook that draws up offensive plays designed but to lose do you. Really, do you really think two points going to be enough? Throw it, take a sack on second down. What can the offensive coordinator come up with here on third down? Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And you called a timeout. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their Ooh. first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside <laughs> here in the fourth quarter. And Hopkins can't Yeah, you take them threes. And they think they will move ahead by two. Chew that. Chew that. So the drive here in 
Bears with a field goal, and that does give them the lead, yeah. but this one is still a long ways from over. And you love to be able to look up at the scoreboard and see that you're out in front, but then you take one look across the field and see that offense. I don't know how to do that. To come back out, and you think, I don't know that field goals are going to be enough to get us home. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field, and they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, you gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Here's Roethlisberger. A screen to Bell. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. I think the best offense is the to first. give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people mm -hmm. miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And the D looking like they may blitz. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. 15 yards through the air and a first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. Damn. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage mm -hmm. after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has yeah. picked it up. And don't forget... Got Josh Norman out there, yo. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, you got Storm and Norman out that bitch. Second down following the incompletion. Mm-hmm. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. He was trying to find Ladarius Green there. Yeah, He's tied in. And now it's third down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And counting the defense here, the Redskins have six defensive backs out there. Third down, Roethlisberger. He's got time in the pocket. Out left side here to Bryant. The 12 yards that time and picking. Hey, I don't know why did he fall. So there on that what one, the fuck was that? The crossing route defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough you're, is it to defend? Supposed that? to what? It's really <laughs> difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to. Talk to your other coverage guys and let him know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. And they're moving on crossing routes. If you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. 23 yards on the play. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver, and it's second down. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense, but in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass, excellent job, way to knock it down. And now it's second and goal. Roethlisberger with a give to Bell. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Was that a drive, son? Was that a drive? Second touchdown of the night. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Not really, because you kick a bunch of fit. Hey, how many touchdowns did you, how many touchdowns did you score on offense? How many did you score? <laughs> No, uh, there was pick sixes. <laughs> you got you got 24 points from pick sixes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And with a new rule that 
No, no, no. I'm, just, I'm not saying that. I'm, yo, you played a hell of a game. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points. Yeah, yo, yo. Well Look, you know you're a better player than I am, though. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kick. Well, you should show this game because I keep throwing all these damn pick sixes. Wow, how did he... That should have been a pick. He's standing right there. Oh, I'll let you get that. Let you get that, son. I ain't get a chance to audible out of what I was in. Vernon Davis, 70 yards. And the Redskins have taken the lead. Nah. Mm, I thought it, I, I have you had audible to a run. Right. And I ain't get a chance to take it out. Damn it. Damn it. That would have been that would have been perfect too. This can't run straight, yo. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20 yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, he's got a man complete. He got 29 yards that time. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on yeah. offense. Another fun no. play to watch there yes. on the deep pass. Yes, this game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together, that's what our playbook's going to look like. Like they're drawing them up in the dirt, and so far it's working for both of them. He's back to throw. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. And he's brought down. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Yo, you know what that means, don't you? <laughs> Yo. Yo, you know what that means, don't you? You know what that means, don't you? You know what that means, don't you, son? Read the pressure. And got rid of no, that the means, don't you? To him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line, <laughs> he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. No, that means, so don't you? We're going to get a timeout here <laughs> by the offense. And it's the two teams talking over on their respect. Joe, I was down 30 to 14, yo. I, I, I mean. Uh, Two seconds on the clock. The it was. It was close. It was close. It was a good game. <laughs> it was. It was. You were close, yo. I didn't lie, yo. You had me nervous for a second. Yeah. 
I'll give you a cigar, yo fuck it, you can have a cigar. You know smoke black and miles, yo? Right. Alright, call me when you get back, yo.